What is going on, everybody? It is Treeb from Treeb Talks here. And we are officially one week down from the NFL season. And I didn't release a Jags recap or a Jags preview this week. But just to sum it up, I'm sad. And I know one person in this room who is not sad after his team's performance is Mr. Larry Fitzgerald. Oh, man. Relge, the Cardinals put it on against the Tennessee Titans. So the A Jags penalty. fans, the Jags fans too, are going to have to thank you for that. Because I know. Anytime, anytime the Titans get their ass kicked, we're going we're gonna to root for that. Chandler Jones, five sacks. Who? Yeah, that's right. Nobody knows. Who him. the fuck is Chandler Jones? That's fine. It's going to be great when he, you know, beats Strahan's record by a fucking mile this year. Uh, I think we're. I think he'll have ten sacks by week three. The end of week three. My favorite thing is that it's always he's been... already at five colds. I mean, you've seen some eye rolls over there. I'm wondering what he's got to say. My... I'm just saying. Tree said like the only person that's happy in this room is Fitz, I... but. I'm also happy about my team performance. Oh, that's I, true. I I I didn't mean to say only person. If I did say only oh, person, well, I meant exactly to, I, what you said. I meant to say one person I know is happy. I was going to transition to the Steelers win against Buffalo. You said only one person. So. You know, and D Hop oh. and Christian Kirk went the frick off. So it was just all around <laughs> goaded. I I wanted I wanted to start off with Brelgett's win because I knew Absolutely. he I knew he was going to bring the heat. Oh, on on on, and I, on and I think co- we star framed against the Cardinals, didn't we? Yeah, we did yes, star we framed. Did. did we not? And I, yeah, I, I think yeah. we did. <laughs> we star framed against the Cardinals too, yeah. and, and I think that's another. Reason. I had no confidence in that team, to be honest. I did not expect what came out, so that's just a total surprise. <clears throat> I mean, Cole, you gotta be happy with how the Steelers played. Yeah, man. Uh, everybody chose against the the Steelers. All of you guys, all the pros. You guys are pros, so yeah. all the pros. Yeah, we're all pros in this building. Um, I was happy with how we did. T.J. Watt, two sacks. Deontay Johnson looked like a dog. Deontay Johnson, I don't know if you guys saw that like juggling TD oh, catch. Yeah. I watched a good amount of it when I was at work. but Deontay Johnson is everything I wanted James Washington to be. I was thinking that on Sunday, actually. <laughs> really? That's crazy that you say that. He's literally mm-hmm. everything to a T that I wanted James Washington to be. Mm-hmm. But um, one thing that uh, on Sunday, um, Barnage, who is also mm-hmm. in the studio, he came in. He came into the house, and before we get into you know the inevitable, he said that uh, you guys kind of expose the Bills for who they are, and that's kind of a, a mediocre yeah. team. I think I agree with that. Barnage, kind of like expand on that more. How do you think the Bills are a mm-hmm. mediocre team? So, the Bills, they played the Chiefs last year in the playoffs. They did not put up a fight with the Chiefs at all. The Browns put up a fight against the Chiefs. I know there were some bad calls and players hurt, but we put up a fight. The Bills, once again, against a team that hasn't done anything good in the past year, whoops on them. It's like... How can the Bills just get beat like that all the time? They're mediocre. Josh Allen can get all the stats that he wants, but he's always in a close game, it feels like. I just yeah. They're mediocre. Yeah, and you know, I think it comes down to the fact that the Bills have a lot of explosion on offense, a lot of playmakers, but they run into a team that has a good defense. They're gonna get worked. Pittsburgh has a great defense. And it pretty good special teams. Oh my god, the block punt touchdown, that was a dagger. That was. Absolutely it was. I don't I don't that set the tone for the rest of the I don't know, five, ten minutes there was left in the game. Can we all agree that the two most <laughs> exciting scoring plays and I think they're slept on are a safety and like a special teams like oh. block punt. Oh yeah. Touchdown. I love a good special teams touchdown. Me too. Like a so punt it's, turn it's so off. fun. It's like, it is. I love to see it, but I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I see it the most against me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so, it's so sad. Oh, 
but you know, going back to you, Barnage, I know you can relate with my pain, but your pain's different because you guys went out there and we're the better team for the whole first half. The whole and, first half. And, and let me, let me, okay, well, the whole first half going into the second half, it was really like the late part of the fourth quarter, obviously, the interception was the big thing. But let me, before I get you, let you talk about the Chiefs Browns game, let me preference this. Me and Bryce were literally hiding in his room like scared kids when their dad is watching the football game while oh, Bard dude. was watching the game. Like I we was... we were staying out of his way. Emotional. Yeah. <laughs> so take dude. take me through that game, Bard. Dude, I we have not won a game in week one in like seventeen seasons or something like that. I don't know exactly. I think it was like, like 02 or something, yeah. Yeah, and it's like, I've been wanting to beat the Chiefs so bad all offseason, and it's like, it's back-to-back games against the Chiefs. We lost against them in the playoffs. We're going against them week one. If we can beat them, to me, it kind of felt like we could prove to the league that we are dominant and we can win the Super Bowl or, like, go far in the playoffs. And it's like, uh, it just kind of broke my heart because it's like, I really wanted to win that game. And it was very emotional. And it's like, if we would have got that win, it was just like proven more how much we have like gotten better. And it's just like, ah. I think as far as AFC teams go, I mean, you guys still probably looked the second, third, fourth best out of all the AFC teams. I think Pittsburgh looked good. And I think, um, God, I just had them. The Raiders looked good, too. Granted, you know, it might have just been like a week one flash in the pan kind of game. but I think that was because of the Las Vegas crowd. I think that's Like exactly what we said. That's it was exactly be... why I changed my, my yeah. who won last week. Yeah. Dude, last just, yeah. It's just yeah. because I, I don't know what Raiders, it was, dude. but that was the loudest I've ever heard for a Raiders game. Like, yeah. like every possession that they got something positive, you could hear the boos or you could hear the cheers. I mean, if anything's going not Raiders' way, you can hear it. Dude, that's, that's what that's happened to cool. us in the fourth quarter against the Chiefs. That, that stadium was loud in the fourth quarter. We couldn't do anything on offense in the fourth quarter. So before we get into the point reveal, something that I've seen on TikTok, honestly, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to steal ideas. And I just want to do this on top of the dome, just real quick, you know, kind of an every week thing. I want to just go around and just say, what was your game of the week? What game did you have the most fun watching this week? I'll start it off. The Raiders-Ravens game, I think, was the best game this week. And I think it's going to be one of the better games this year. Colge? So it's not really fair, because I only watched two games in full. And it was the first game of the season and then the last game of week one. So the Cowboys and Bucks versus, and then the, uh... The Ravens. The Ravens and the Raiders. Raiders Raiders. Yeah. So I thought the Ravens and the Raiders was the best one that I watched so far. Barnhouse? Ah. I would like to say my game. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought that's what uh, it was going to be. But it, it like, was fun. It was It was very emotional. But, like, I'm not going to lie, when I watched the Cowboys and Bucks game, that was like, I didn't have anything emotionally attached. That was a good game. And it was just a good game to watch. Mm-hmm. Bryce, what about you? Larry. Well, Larry. I, liked, uh, I liked Minnesota versus the Bengals. How was it? Because I, I I just like Joe Burrow and I just I'm glad to see him bounce back. He had his guy. I, I kind of it's, it was kind of cool. All the people that had their guys connected with him in the first week, so it was kind of cool. I just like I like the Bengals and it was nice to see Kirk Cousins battle back. He was down multiple possessions, made it to OT. Love and Kirk then, Cousins. And then that was some that was a pretty bad bad ref call. Because I thought Dalvin Cook was down. He hit his ass in OT, but whatever. And lastly, which team were you most impressed by? I think I know what most of you are going to say, but I'm going to leave it for somebody else to say, so I'm going to go a little different. I'm going to go with the Saints. Jameis Winston is going to be a top 10 quarterback this year. He's going to be in the MVP discussion. He threw five touchdowns this week. He's got the Saints looking like the Saints. Sean Payton's a great coach. 
The Saints are going to do good things this year. Colge? I'm going to have to agree with you. I definitely want to say Pittsburgh, but Jameis Winston did throw five touchdowns. Do I think he's going to be in the MVP talk? No. <laughs> Man, it's it's only week one. That's my bold take. On you, it. I know, but you can't make assumptions like why. Wow. <laughs> so um, I am gonna say the Saints as well, though they th- they did amazing. What bar do you got? Uh, I think like I know I chose the Raiders, but I I, I like the Raiders. Like I, do too. I think they're gonna come in very hot this season. I think the AFC West is going to be a lot more competitive than people think it's going to be. Larry, what about you? Well, guilty pleasure, I'd like to dig Arizona. So please do it, because that's why I saved it. But, uh, I don't know. I kind of, yeah, I'd probably go my own team. We're, we're, yeah. we're, we're doing pretty good. We're, we're all around built. This is the best team we have. We better just kind of run it, because I don't, I don't know if we can keep it together more than one year, so... This is a good squad, finally. I would say the Cardinals were my overall number one by one, saving for Larry himself. So now it is time for our favorite time of the week, your favorite time of the week, and your mom's favorite time of the week, the point reveal. And to start things off, we're going to talk about the bot, Ariana, and Cameron's points. Cam came in with nine points. And Ariana matched him as well. Got nine games right to tie things up. Now. Is it going to be an all round tie? Is know. every single person going to get nine? That, that's what it's looking like. I mean, if the, so pattern, if the pattern, if the pattern keeps up, maybe. But let me kick things off by saying I'm going to make it stop, make the pattern stop. But I'm going to make it kind of cool because if you combine my number with their number, you get 69 because I got 6. Oh, totally different number. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, okay, no, okay, no, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that would have okay. been bad, wouldn't it? Yeah. No, but, uh, <laughs> no, I yeah. He really thought I was going to go off the grid right there. <laughs> but no, yeah, we're going 69. I got six points this week. Nice. Did, did, <laughs> did absolutely... <laughs> Atrocious. We picked the Jags, you know. We didn't we didn't take enough risks at all. We star framed the Jags, so I guess that's not one I can take a take a, you know, whatever a pull on. But I also picked the fucking Jets. And you know they were there! They were right fucking there. I'm telling you what, I still didn't see enough from Sam Darnold. Still didn't see enough from Sam Darnold, I don't care. But we got six points. We picked the Packers. They lost. I think we might have star framed the Packers too. I know we got eight total star frames. We're gonna have to yeah. go back and go back and look at that. And yeah, man, just an overall rough week one. We're gonna yeah. have to we're gonna have to get shit together. Seven star frames. Seven star frames. That's what it's looking like. Oh, okay. So seven, seven total star frames. Eight. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Sorry, guys. I took your word for it right there. I miscounted. I can't can't believe you. Coming up next, we're going to go with the newcomer. He's going to go next. Mostly because we we heard his total (laughs) off-air. But uh, but we're going to let you guys be surprised. Uh, I got seven points. I'm going off the... No nines either, but I'm above Treeb, so there we go. Yes, he takes the early lead with the round table. Um, I also, so I didn't hit my upset, but I hit my lock. Did you hit your lock or your upset? I hit my lock, but I didn't get my upset because uh, my upset was the Browns. Oh, nice. yeah. I was <laughs> right there. <laughs> All right, we're going to go with Larry. Larry, what do you got? Well... We're going to have to start from behind, guys, because this is about the worst week to start out for. <laughs> no way! Before. I got three points. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I how think is that possible? I think that's a we record. Had, we had so many star frames. How is that? 
I took the box. I took the Seahawks. They got me too. Yeah, you got at least you got the. I took. <laughs> yeah, you got three. And then I ended up taking the Jaguars, the Falcons, Washington, the Bills. My upset of the week: Lions lost by one possession. Damn it! I was trying to push for the Lions. Uh, Vikings lost an OT to the Bengals. It's just a bad week. That's all I can tell you. My lock, I got it wrong, because I picked Green Bay. <laughs> so is that the worst week in? I think that's the worst week in pick in history. Tree, tree talks. So history? we got three points, and we're gonna have to battle back. I think that's the worst. A awful. I, have, I wish I would left you for last. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I'm in, I'm in last by a far margin. You don't know that yet. I just trust it. <laughs> well, we know, we know, like, getting, that's why I kind of wanted to save Colts for last because, you know, I said it a lot in the week one video that you, you made a lot of boomer bust picks. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm really curious to know how there that went. There was me. a lot of star frames that could have been if I chose the team that you guys chose. Yeah. <clears throat> but I got my. Lock correct, and my upset correct. Which one was your upset again? The Steelers beating oh, yeah. the Buffalo Bills, and I got 10 points. Oh. I hit double digits, baby. You got the best Ooh. overall, too. You even beat the bot. Yeah, absolutely. Dang. 10 points. So, so It feels good. This is the first week ever. No, that, it's not. What? That I've been in first. Yeah, has it, is it not? I'm sure it hasn't. <laughs> I think it has been. Dude. I really do think it has been. I, think, I don't think it has. Been. There's no way it's it hasn't been. In the last two seasons, I've done pretty good throughout the first four weeks. Sure. After yeah. that, it's we did, we not talked not. about it the whole episode last last week. How bad mm. you've been doing? Yeah. Overall score. <laughs> yeah, not the first. Yeah, four I, weeks, I, I lose. I end up losing every year, but. But the first four weeks is where you should. First shot. four or five weeks, I'm like. So, just uh, go over the overall standings. We got Colch in, in first, first place yeah. with 10 points. We got Barnhouse Barnage. in second with seven. We got Treve in third with six. And we got Larry <laughs> in last with a record breaking three points. In our bots. In our bots. Ariana has nine points, and Cam also has nine points. But those are bots. Yeah. <laughs> so, Larry, you are a dead lap. You're drawing a face on there. Let me get to the week two game. Could you please put your notepad for the, for those uh, people because you can't see? He was drawing a face above the uh, scratch sheet of paper with the games on it. Couldn't see it. But we are here, and. We're looking to make up ground. Colts can't be in first place all season. So here we are, week two, and on Thursday night, we got the Giants, we got the football team, and I don't care who's at quarterback for Washington. It could be Tyler Heineke, it could be Mark Sanchez coming out of retirement. It doesn't matter. Daniel Jones is trash. I said it in the video last time. He's one of the few quarterbacks that are worse than Sam Darnold, and he is probably, no, he is without a doubt the worst starting quarterback in the National Football League. I'm going to lock Washington, and the Giants are going to lose by a lot. Cole Judy, yeah. Um, I like Washington in this game, even though Fitzpatrick got hurt last week. Um, who is it, Tyler or Taylor? It's Tyler Heineke. Tyler, Tyler Heineke. Heineke. Yeah. Um, he'll probably come out there, ball out. He'll probably score about three touchdowns, three hundred and twenty. He kept yards. it a one possession game with the Tom Brady in the playoffs. Yeah, and uh, because, as Treve said before, uh, Daniel Jones is the worst starting quarterback in the league. So uh, the Washington Football Team is going to have this. We're probably going to outscore the Giants all the way. You know, Giants are going to score zero points. Larry, who do you got this for? I'm taking the football team. Uh, Washington's, I, I, I was sad to see Fitzpatrick go. He's, it was his first season, he's going to have the chance to do something. And now he's on the IR for at least eight weeks. 
Uh, I think Heineke is going to step in. I think Scary Terry and Logan Thomas is enough to carry that offense. Antonio Gibson will help a little bit too. That defense is going to get five sacks. Watch out for Chase Young. He's probably getting a couple strip sacks. I think he'll have two strip sacks. Mm. And the Washington football team wins by a landslide. All right, Barnhouse Productions, who you got? <sighs> I got Washington. I absolutely hate the Giants. I think Barkley's a bust. I think Danny Nichols. <laughs> Danny Nichols. Is, They're calling him that all night. <laughs> is a, a... He shouldn't be in the league at all. I don't understand. He's terrible. He's had like 30 fumbles in like the past three years he's been in the league. And it's like... Bro, how do you fumble 30 times? You need to practice holding on the ball. Like, that's tragic. Washington all the way. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. For the second week in a row, we open up picks with a... Star Frame! $5 charity of your choice! First one of the video, ninth of the season. Coming up next, we got an interesting matchup here. We got the Raiders, who are coming off an impressive victory, and the Steelers, who are also coming off... An impressive victory. Cole Judy got this one. Okay, so everybody says the Steelers last week game. It was a bad performance by Buffalo, or Buffalo got, you know, exposed. Nobody gives credit to Pittsburgh. Nobody has. Pittsburgh played great in that game. The defense played stellar. You know, fucking our D-line. Did Tyson Alvalu get any snaps? I couldn't tell you, but I oh. don't think he did. <laughs> anyway, go you on. know, everybody's not giving them credit. Deontay Johnson, he's a baller. And no one gives credit to the Steelers when it comes to that win. It's just shit on the Bills. Nothing good for the Steelers. So, I got the Steelers in this one, man. Steelers against the Raiders. Raiders had a great game last week, don't get me wrong, but in Pittsburgh, no. No way in hell. See, my thing is, is the Raiders always perform better when the lights are on. I think the Raiders play better <clears throat> on primetime games or in games that have some kind of significant meaning. A 10 a.m. game in the middle of the Sunday slate in Week 2 is not enough for the Raiders to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. So with that being said, I am going to take the Steelers. Barn, who do you got? Uh, I'm going to die on the hill here, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm taking the Raiders. I, I think they're just going to... It's not going to be a clean win. It's going to be hard fought because it's going to be in Pittsburgh. But I just, I like the Raiders more than the Steelers right now. They are talented. I think it's going to be a close game. Larry, who do you got? I'm taking the Raiders. Uh, I like this defensive line. Max Crosby and Carl Nassib played extremely good. They both got two sacks last week. They both just looked like they were running on a high motor. That, that's what you need in pass rushers. I thought that, I mean, a pass rusher can make up for any secondary being a bad secondary. And uh, I just like the Raiders' offense. Henry Ruggs looks good. Waller's been a stud for since he's been with Gruden and the Raiders. And I just kind of like Jeff Jacobs. He's a bruiser running back who always kind of has that injury designation on fantasy but never gets actually out because he's just is a bruiser. Uh, the Raiders are going to win. They're going to squeak by. It's going to be like a field goal. Daniel Carlson starting to kick pretty good for the Raiders. He's going to hit one. Coming up next, we got another. We got a battle in the NFC. We got the 49ers and the Eagles. Barnage, start with you. Who do you got in this one? Uh, I'm taking the 49ers. Uh, they put up a lot of points against the. Uh, oh God, the, the Lions. The Lions last week, and I, I think the 49ers' offensive power is still is going to overwhelm the Eagles, and I just. The 49ers are a better team throughout. Alrighty, Larry, who do you got in this one? I just don't trust Jalen Hurts yet. I know he had a good game, but it was against the Falcons. Uh, the 49ers are in that tough division. They're going to keep fighting for Ws. I, I think they're going to win by a lot. I think the 49ers just blow them out. 
Hold your D up. Yeah, man. Uh, I was wrong about the 49ers last week. I said they weren't shit, and they ended up blowing up Lions. You know, I'll eat crow on that one. Whatever. Hey, and the I Lions think, came back 33-41. to 41. Yeah. And I think the 49ers, they're a little bit better than I thought they were going to start off to be. So I'm going to choose the uh, 49ers over Jalen Hurts Eagles. So I think both these teams are kind of built the same. I think either way, you know, you're playing both these teams. I think you're going to get their best, but their bad is also really bad. So I think whichever team comes out and plays their best is going to win. I know it's like an obvious blanket statement, but I don't think this game is going to be close regardless whoever wins. But I'm going to take the Eagles. I'm going to say Jalen Hurts last week impressed me, and he was a guy that I was not high on. I thought he would fall into the same category as Tua. He was a guy that I didn't think was going to be like a future of the franchise type of a guy. In fact, I said Minshew could probably start over him. But I'm buying him little by little, and I think it's a big test for him. So I'm going to take the Eagles. Coming up next, we got... The You're ruining star frames out here. Yeah, dude, I had to ruin the charity, bro. I ain't no charity case over here. <laughs> Coming up next, I, th- I think we can maybe make up, make up some... Uh, some star friends with this next one. Coming up next, we got the Houston Texans going up against the Cleveland Browns. Now I know we did a star frame against the Texans last week, but the Jags choked really bad, my bad boys. But I don't think the Browns will do that. You know, the Jags didn't get really an opportunity to run the ball because they didn't choose to against the Texans, but the Browns most certainly will. I think they're going to have over 200 yards rushing. I think if you have Kareem Hunt or Nick Chubb on your fantasy team, start them both. They're both going to have a rushing touchdown. They both they both might have two, but they both will definitely have over 100 rushing yards. So I'm going to take the Browns. If I didn't already lock the football team, I would double lock the Browns. Barnett, who do you got? Uh, got the Browns. <laughs> uh... I love Tyrod Taylor, but I think Baker took Tyrod Taylor's job for a reason. And it's, it's Tyrod's revenge game. And I just I could do imagine. I don't yeah, really totally care don't. about revenge games. I think we're just an over, like our defense is a lot better than the Texans offense overall. It's just like no. I I'm gonna lock the Browns over the Texans. I think that's a very smart lock. Like I said, I would do it if I didn't already lock Washington. Cole, who do you got? Yeah, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but uh, I'm going to choose the Browns. I think Kareem Hunt is going to do is going to outperform Nick Chubb this week, though. Boo! Have him in fantasy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm 127 gonna, I yards, three t- I rushing be touchdowns. Sad. I don't want to be sad either. Hate to see it, Larry. Who do you got? Uh, I'm taking the Browns. But I think it's going to be Juice who has the fantasy score Ooh. season. I think Juice is going to have a hat trick. He's going to have three TDs. He's going to have three TDs, and they're going to just fucking light up the Texans. It's, I, I love Tyrod. I think he played great last week. And I think he's starting to be able to play meaningful games again, but that team's just a shell. And the Browns are an all-pro team ready to go to the playoffs. I mean, Tyrod Tyler, Tyrod Taylor is definitely a... A, beast. A, a crew Hall of Famer. Oh, yeah, for sure. Love the guy. Love I, don't, I don't think the guy Love can do him. it. But with that being said, that is going to be our second and our tenth Star Frame! Five dollars charity of your choice of the season. Coming up next, <clears throat> this game pains me to talk about, but we got the Denver Broncos and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, if you want me to be 100% straight up with you, if you are a person that gambles or you like making prop bets in Vegas or what have you, whatever Teddy Bridgewater's passing yards is, bet the over on it. The Jags are infamous on giving big days to mediocre-ass quarterbacks. One of the biggest prime examples for that, and I've been waiting to talk about this, is back in 2011, the Jags played a rookie, Kirk Cousins. 
after RG3 got hurt. And he was a nobody. Nobody even knew who he was. That was the first game he ever came into. And we let him throw. Go 20 for 21, 293 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. Teddy Two Gloves, another crew Hall of Fame quarterback, is going to have a great day. But I want to be optimistic, but for the sake of picks, I'm going to take Denver over Jacksonville. I hope we can turn it around. This is a winnable game, I think, in a lot of ways, but our secondary is just so bad. Denver has so many options. And I just think defensively we can't keep up with Denver, and our other line's going to be shot. I think Trevor, Trevor has some years before the Jags get good, and it's not going to... It's not going to be this year, unfortunately. Cole what you got? I got the Broncos, man. Um, Von Miller said it's the best uh, mile high has been looking since number 18. Yeah. We Teddy, love Teddy Two Gloves. Teddy Two Gloves? He has to be a Hall of Famer in the crew. Yeah, I, just, right? I just said that, yeah. Yeah, it's just and the Jags didn't show me enough this week. So, uh, Denver Broncos. Barn any uh, I got the Broncos. I think the Broncos had a solid offense before, like, the preseason started, but there was, like, questions on the quarterback. And I think Teddy Two Gloves kind of made it realize last week that he's solid and he's going to he's gonna win a couple games this season. I think this is a game he's going to win. The Broncos have a favorable schedule these first two weeks, so if they can get a 2-0 and start, it's going to be huge in the division. Larry, who do you got? For the sake of the picks, I would want to do the for the star frame, but I'm going to go with the Jags. Just I, you know, this is this is a win, this is a winnable game for either one. Yeah. Uh, T. Law cannot make those stupid mistakes he made last week. I think he can go back to being the little. I know I hate to say this, but maybe go check down city. And try or to make run him, the ball or, yeah, and not and, make him throw 51 times. And just trying to make it through it. I love Teddy Two Gloves. I do think the Broncos probably have a better chance of winning it. But I want to do it for the sake of maybe getting a point off, you guys. So, Fair enough strategy. That was my strat last week. That's a strategy. People already playing strategy two weeks into the season. Coming up next, we got the New Orleans Saints going up against the Carolina Panthers. Guys. Sam Darnold is garbage. <laughs> well, Truby's five <laughs> games away from making you Jam say he's average. Jameis, Jameis Winston, you're about to bite it. <laughs> you're about to bite it. Jameis Winston, <laughs> trash. Jameis Winston's a guy that people call him. trash. All right, here's Chris Collinsworth. But <laughs> with the call, now here's a guy. He's able to lead a team to the postseason. Sam Darnold can't lead the team to six fucking wins. The Saints by a mile. Cole Judy got. Oh man, I don't like either of these quarterbacks. I haven't circled the game yet. I know I know who I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick the Saints. I don't by like a mile. Jameis Winston, he impressed me like last week. Five five TDs, correct? Yeah. That impressed me. Didn't think he could do that. I don't think he can. I don't think he can consistently do something like that every single week, though. Personally, but I think he has enough to beat the Panthers because I hate Sam Darnold. I do too. Bar, who do you got? Well, I feel like how much hatred you have for Sam Darnold. <laughs> I feel like this should count. I'm choosing this as my upset of the week. And I'm having the Panthers beat the Saints for no reason other than I want more points than you guys. And I want Sam Darnold to beat James Winston because I, I don't care. He's 30-30 club, and that boy eating them W's like he... Oh, nah. he's eating dubs and crab legs. Man, that shit is nasty. Larry, who you got? I'm taking the Panthers for my upset of the week as well. <laughs> this is the second you know time we split a Darnold game. <laughs> because you know why? Because I'm tired of the hate on his name. I think it's going to be the battle of superstar backs. Kamara and McCaffrey are going to be going. Are going to be going at it, and I think it's going to be 
the quarterback who throws the least amount of turnovers. And guess what? I think if you throw 5-0 with Jameis Winston and he's planning to go 30-30, he's about to make up five. So here we go. And this is going to be a winnable game for Sam Darnold. He's going to start out 2-0 and and Treeb's going to be sweating real quick. And that's the way we love it. Hate it. Coming up next, we got the Rams taking on the Colts. And I don't know about you guys, but I know it's week one. We always say it. But I think the Rams are a Super Bowl contender, realistically. I think they're the best team in the division right now. I like the Cardinals a lot, but I think they are... That division stacks. So I know. It's, it's hard it's to say hard. about any team. Yeah, maybe I should retract that. Because <laughs> all four teams could be considered Super Bowl contenders. So maybe They're I'll just Dude, maybe honestly, I'll just say I, Super Bowl contenders. I don't care contender. about the Heat. I think they're the best team in the division. Yeah, okay. Out of all four. The Rams, <laughs> I, I think too. they're the best. I don't think so. I don't think I don't think so because Aaron, it's only Aaron Donald. I just oh Stafford. I think it's so coaching. He's so I good. I think it's players but... all around coaching yeah. and yeah, the coaching so good. There's a lot of good coaches in that division. <laughs> no, no, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I thought you were gonna they, say the Rams do make, have good they don't make Pete, mistakes. Pete, Pete Carroll and Kyle Shanahan. They don't make yeah. mistakes. Yeah, that's a tough. Division. I mean, they play clean games, and I think they're gonna play a clean game against the Colts. It's gonna be very clean, and the Colts are gonna drop to zero and two. AFC South, man. It's going to be a dog fight for all the wrong reasons. I'm taking the Rams. Cole, who do you got? I like the Rams in this game, man. I, I like the LA team. I don't know. Same reason as you. I don't want to get too into it. Barnhouse? Alrighty. This is going to be a season long thing here. As long as Sendejo is on that Colts defensive roster. Starting or playing, they will not win. He is the worst safety in the league. I, I, I'm I upset with the Colts. I don't understand how that player can be in the league. So this is going to be just a hatred for the season. I'm going Rams. And Larry, who do you got? I'm taking the Rams. Stafford looked lights out. I think he's going to go probably for do the same thing he did last week, try to throw a 50-yard touchdown to start the game off. Uh, yeah. This team's just really good. They're all around built, good coaching staff, and I just the Colts are playing hurt. Quentin Nelson will probably be back for his first games. So that O line will kind of be getting back, but it's not enough to beat the Rams. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, for Fitz, our eleventh star frame, five dollars charity of your choice for the Rams for Fitz for the eleventh star frame. It kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I would love to see that. Third of this week. Coming up next, we got an AFC East showdown between the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. And to be honest, I just don't know. I don't know. I think this game's pretty, pretty split. Miami has a good defense. And Buffalo has a good offense. Could be a really low-scoring game. But... I can't believe it, but I think Tua's going to scoot on by with a 2-0 and start. I'm going to take Miami over Buffalo. Culture, do you got? I like Buffalo in this game. <clears throat> I think, obviously, Pittsburgh is better than Buffalo. I'm going to say that. And But I think Buffalo, they're going to have a little fire under their ass this week. And, like, uh, they got to show Miami who's the boss. So I got, got Buffalo by 14 points. Barnett, who do you got? I think, I think the Bills and the Dolphins both have good defenses. But I think the Bills' offense is more explosive than the Dolphins. So for that reason, I think the Bills will outscore the Dolphins and the Bills win. Larry, who do you got? I'm taking the Bills. I think that I think that was kind of they, the Bills came out slow. I think the Steelers are what they say they are, but I, I, you know, the Bills. I just 
I think they can bounce back. I don't trust Tua. I still haven't trust him. Even with Waddle. Waddle helped him get through that last game. He scored one of those touchdowns, but he's not going to be able to do that every week. So I think the Bills get it done. Perfect. I do love seeing a left-handed quarterback win, but... Yeah, we love seeing lefties. Catch a dubs. All righty. Coming up next, we got the New England Patriots and the New York Jets. Zach Wilson had a decent second half. Mac Jones, I thought, looked really good. That being said, the man who looks more natural in a Patriots jersey, the, the only person that looks more natural in a Patriots jersey than Mac Jones is Tom Brady himself, so I'm going to take the Patriots. Cole Judy out. I got the Patriots. I mean, last season there was a Jets problem and there was a Sam Darnold problem. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> People say it's one or the other, but I think it was both. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, they had two problems. I think there's, there, there's a Jets problem, and uh, I got the Pats. Barnhouse, who do you get? I think any roster in the league is a better roster than the Jets. I'm taking the Patriots. And Larry, who do you got? I'm taking the Patriots. Mac Jones looked good. Damian Harris made him lose that game. They were in field goal range when they could have kicked a field goal, but he was trying to get it to the hash mark. Fumbled. Uh, I just think the Jets are a dumpster fire roster, and I like Zach Wilson, but that's kind of it. Alrighty. A New England star frame? Or <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys. I meant to lead that in better. Number 12, Star Frame! $5 charity of your choice! The, the TB12. Yeah, the TB12. Star Frame. Yeah, I meant, to, I meant to say that a lot better, but then it, For the it, it, it came out. It came out bad. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, we got the Bengals and the Bears. Andy Dalton's revenge game. That is not going to have any revenge at all because the Cincinnati Bengals are going to put a whooping on the Bengals. And, I mean, yeah, the Bengals are going to put a whooping on the Bears. And I'm not even going to call that an upset or anything. I just think it's going to happen. Cold shoot you got? Dude, I got the Bears. I fucking hate the Bengals. I hate Joe Burrow. And I hope, I hope the worst for them, honestly. <laughs> I don't want Joe Burrow to succeed even is if he goes to a different team. Is it just because of Vontez? Yes, exactly. Only because of Vontez. I don't <laughs> like the Bengals, so I don't like Joe Burrow. I hope Joe Burrow never succeeds in the league. I hope the Bengals never do any good. Fuck the Bengals. Go to Bears. Larry, who do you got? God dang. The heat on the Bengals. Well, I think the Bengals roster is pretty good. Uh Andy Dalton's already had a chance at a revenge game before. I'm pretty sure he played him when he was with the Cowboys. Um, and uh, I just think the Bengals are a good roster. I like the young Joe Burrow squad, so I think they're going to go 2-0 to start it out. Barnhouse, what do you think? Uh, I hate to do it because I kind of agree with Colge, but I think the Bengals are going to win because they're a better roster. But... I would love the Bears to win, but I'm going with the Bengals. All right. Coming up next, we got the Falcons going up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And for this game, I am going to go with my upset of the week and take the Atlanta Falcons <laughs> for no other reason than I got a feeling. Three twenty eight. Culture off of six points, huh? Um yep. every week I think I've been talking about this the last two years. Um I can't pick a Falcons game right. But last week I picked them right. Maybe this week this year's different. Who knows? <laughs> I'm choosing the Bucks. Barn, who do you got? Tom Tom Brady is coming in trolling. Yeah. And I think he's just going to come in and just put a whooping on the Falcons. And for some reason, I think at some point, he's going to be up like 28-3. And then it'll just like double. He's just going to keep stacking points on them. It's just going to be a blowout. And Larry, who do you got? Well, I'm taking the Bucks. 
because t TB12 is going to rack it up. I think he's going to get AB another 120 yards. And Gronk's going to have an, another two TDs. So it's just going to be a great run for them. They're going to just keep steamrolling. And the Falcons' whole roster is kind of shit. Kind of feel bad for Kyle Pitts. There's nothing there. He's the trademark of that organization right now. Coming up next, we got the Minnesota Vikings against the Arizona Cardinals. Like I said, well, Colge said earlier, we all love Kirk Cousins, another crew Hall of Fame quarterback, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. And I like the Vikings, too, man. I like what they got going on over there. Adam Thielen's a they great... They screwed in OT, too. Adam Thielen's a great fantasy receiver. I like what the Cardinals got going on. I think this is going to be a good game, though. Honestly, I think... I don't think it's going to be a blowout completely. I think it's going to be like 24-17, 38-31, something like that. But I'm going to take the Cardinals. Larry, who do you get? I'm going with the Cardinals. I think D-Hop's going to fucking expose Pat Pete. It's going to be bad. Pat Pete's going to get fucking eight up. I think D-Hop's going to have 150 yards and maybe three touchdowns because uh, – Kyler loves him, loves throwing to him. Chandler, he's not talking to any media this year. I think he's going to have a couple strip sacks because that O-line ain't going to be able to handle him, especially if they're worried about J.J. So we're going to – I think it's going to be close because Kirk Cousins always likes to make the comebacks, but I think we'll beat him. Barnhouse, who do you get? I got the Cardinals. I think they're coming out on a hot streak. Exposing the Titans. I hate the Titans. Tough and I, I hope they continue the train of this hot streak and just keep riding it throughout the season. So I'm going to Cardinals. Culture, you got? I like the Cardinals in this one. Uh, Cardinals really put it on last week. I hate picking against, you know, my Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, you're I love Kirk Cousins. I love Adam Thielen. You know, he he's a top five receiver in this league. But I think the Cards... Just manhandle Minnesota this week. That is going to be our 13th star friend. Five dollars charity of your choice for Kurt Warner. That's exactly what I was going to say. Fifth star frame of the week. We are uh, we're spreading them out, so we got four games left. So unless we star frame three of these four, these last four, we're going to have less star frames than last week. We got we got one that, that that might be one coming up next. We got the Tennessee Titans going up against the Seattle Seahawks. We got the Seahawks by a lot. I think this is this is good for me because if the Jags aren't going to win, I like to see a Titans struggle. And I think these two games are going to be a good struggle for the Titans. Uh, Brian Trudy got. I'm going to take the Titans. And I'm going to lock them. What? Yeah, I think... What? Yeah, what? That's right. You don't Yeah. Because here's why. Because I think in the NFC West, there's something that is different about these three other teams in the division, other than Seattle, is that that Seattle is... Sh that defense is in shambles. They ain't got shit there. And... I just don't think they're. I, I don't think AJ Brown and Julio are gonna let themselves be dog shit back to back weeks, and I I think DH is gonna play heavy. I like Tannehill. I've always liked Tannehill. We all like Crew Tannehill. Hall of Fame quarterback. Exactly, and I just think he's gonna bounce back. I think it's gonna be a fucking barn burner of a game. I think each one of these receive. I think the Tyler Lockett DK duo and AJ Brown Julio Jones duo both have three touchdowns. On each sides, it's just going to be a barn burner game. But I think so the Titans somebody's do. Somebody's going to win groceries for life. It might be close. Yeah, Russ has only got to throw two more. We're always shouting out groceries for life. Cole, here to go. <sighs> Hard man. I love my Tennessee Titans. I love the Hawks. But Bryce, <clears throat> you did get three games. Right last week, so I'm gonna have to pick against you. I'm gonna choose. Oh wait, no. Excuse me. 
I'm going to choose with you. Oh. Choose the hog. Wait, who'd you choose? I chose Titans. He locked them. Yeah, never mind. He locked never, them. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I'm choosing the hogs. Ballsy. I wasn't. I was not listening. <laughs> a ballsy move on the lock too. I like it. Bar, who do you got? I'm choosing the Hawks. I think every season Russell Wilson comes out hot. There's always like the early season MVP Russ, MVP Russ, and I think like this game right here, if Russ goes off and beats the Titans, it's gonna be one of those things again where at the beginning of the season he's gonna be like MVP Russ, and it's just like. I don't know. This is one of those games where Russell Wilson will just win it because he can. Yeah, because he can. Exactly. Coming up next, we got a barn burner of a game, in my opinion. The Dallas Cowboys going up against the Chargers. And let me say, maybe me saying it, I'll get proven wrong, but I'm going to go against the grain of what I think you guys are going to pick, and I'm going to take Dallas. I am very impressed with Dak Prescott. I said earlier about how Jameis Winston can be in the MVP conversation, but that was just a bold take, shooting shit with the boys. Dak Prescott is a legitimate MVP candidate. He makes the Cowboys better. And if you put him on a team like Washington, or you put him on a team like Nah, I don't want to say the Jets because that's getting a little bit too ballsy. Mm -hmm. You put him on Jacksonville. Actually, well, we have Trevor Lawrence, you know, but if you put, like, pre-Trevor Lawrence, right, if we had, like, Gardner Minshew issues and we went and we paid Dak if he backed out of his, you know, the whole different situation. You put him on any team, he makes him better. Are you saying Trevor Lawrence is better than Dak? Well, I'm saying the future still is to be determined. I'm just saying about right now. Well, we still have to determine the future with Trevor Lawrence. I'm, I'm we can't. Well, I'm right saying right now. I, no, I'm not you. saying that right now. I'm just saying we can't fucking trade for Dak Prescott right fucking now when we <laughs> have our future invested in Trevor Lawrence. Still no answer. <laughs> Dak Prescott is better than Trevor Lawrence right now. <laughs> That's all I want to do. But he'd go anywhere besides, you know, like Kansas City maybe. And he would be the starting quarterback. And he would be great. He's a top 10, top 5 quarterback in the league. Well, I don't think there's any doubt about that because Dak was a top 5 quarterback when he was healthy last season. This is the first time he's had multiple wideouts. He just... So, hold on, hold on. I'm just, there's a bigger, bolder point at the end. Of Ooh. I don't only think Dallas is a playoff team this year. But I think you see Dallas in the conference championship game at the peak or the divisional round at the floor. It goes Tampa Bay, Rams, Dallas. That is your top three teams in the NFC right now. And I'm taking Dallas to beat the Chargers. Cole, Judy, go. I like Dallas as well. I think Dak Prescott showed his worth last week, so... I, lo I love Justin Herbert, but uh, I, love I like Dak more this week. And Barn, who do you got? Uh, I'm going to have to go with the Cowboys. <laughs> I kind of don't like that the DN, the Marcus Lawrence, got hurt, and he's out for the season. That kind of puts out a thing on their defensive line. But I'm also a Chargers hater, so I have to go the Cowboys. Larry, who do you got? Well, I'm going the Cowboys because Dak's, you, Dak's a top five QB, and he's you, and uh, I just think Dak's playing really good. He's obviously playing the way he should be. Michael Gallup got hurt. Their offense is a little bit, it's still good. Dak's gonna tear it up. Dax Dax is what they needed to be better in that division. He should win it. I don't know if they have that high of a ceiling this season, but as Treem said, but I do think they can beat the Chargers. I think the Chargers are like one more year away from being ready to run it with Herbert. I think this year they'll have a decent record, but I still like the Raiders. And I kind of like the Broncos to sneak some wins off of them, even, maybe. So, I'm going Cowboys. Alright, so right now we are at a total of five star frames. For the video, so that brings us at a total of what's eight plus five? Quick math, Larry. 
Well, this is six six star frames, oh. and we're at fourteen. Oh yeah, none of us picked the Chargers. I still couldn't. I think that's why I was such a such a shambles. Cause I thought most of you guys were gonna go with the Chargers. No, but anyway, so that's gonna bring us a star frame five dollar charity of your toys. So that's six star frames, fourteen. Yeah. So he said fourteen for the season. And, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Coles last week had a terrific, I think, like, probably out of all of the seasons he's been doing this intro, the best, the best week one performance he's done. And, you know, he, he just works to get better and better. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Coles with his edition of Sunday Night. Sunday Night! I like that. That was crisp. I that love was, that one. That, that was, was some beautiful. 70s style. I liked it. Grunge, like yeah. it from the back of your throat. I like last week's better. Yeah, last... I don't know. I felt that. I felt that one. That one. I, I felt even wrote it. this down in my notes. Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> you needed it. Making oh, sure. Because oh, perfect for your notes. Oh no. We can't miss Sunday nights. No. 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 I've been waiting all day for Sunday nights. Been waiting yeah. all day. I've been waiting all year, man. <laughs> So for Sunday night, we got the Kansas City Chiefs going up against the Baltimore Ravens. Big Barn House for Barn House Productions. Who do you got? I got the Chiefs. The Chiefs. The Chiefs. Uh, I hate the Ravens. They're in my division. <laughs> I just, they couldn't handle the Raiders. I don't think they can handle the Chiefs. And it's just, I think the Chiefs are going to blow them out. I mean, I, I, I hope they do. All right, fair enough. Culture, you got. Yeah, I agree with you, Barnage. I don't think uh, the Ravens can handle the Chiefs. Ravens had a hell of a game last week. The Chiefs had a hell of a game last week. I'm going to choose the Chiefs as my lock. Wow. You and, I mean, I mean fair lock. You fair. And, you, you and, uh, I feel like you and. Larry going with bold locks this week. I'm going to go with Kansas City as well. Larry, who you got? I'm taking the Chiefs. Because the Chiefs are just an all-around better team. The Ravens have too many injuries. The running back room's toast. Uh, I do like Lamar a little bit, but uh, the Ravens are not good enough. And I and I and here's why I want it personally. It's because I hope the Ravens continue to keep losing for like the next three, four, five weeks. Me too. And then Calais Campbell's going to get traded back to the desert where he belongs in Arizona. And we can run it back to the Super Bowl where it needs to happen. Perfect. So that Chiefs pick is going to make us another Star Frame $5 charity of your choice. So that is going to be seven Star Frames in this video. So we are almost on pace to tie last week's. Star frame amount. We, no. we had a uh, we had a little run there. So for Monday night, we got the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers. The Packers looked really bad against the Saints, but I think they're gonna take care of business against Detroit. So with that being said, I'm gonna take Green Bay. Cold shoot, you got. Um, might sound crazy, but I'm choosing the Lions as my upset. I talked to to two of you guys. You talk Sound, to your insider sources. Sounds like an, uh, uh, an, an upset to me, to personally, and that sounds like it is. the most real upset this week in my books. So that's who I'm choosing. Just because of that reason. <laughs> Alrighty, Barnhouse, who do you got? Revenge Tour or Humiliation Tour? We will find out this week. I'm choosing the <coughs> Lions. I... I... I have a suspicion that Aaron Rodgers is purposely being bad. And if he loses the Lions again, I think it's going to be obvious that he's just trying to tank the team. And it's hilarious. It's just a troll. He's making money while just letting them get a crap record. It's amazing. <laughs> and Larry, who do you got? The Lions was fun to, for me to watch because they came. They were fighting with the 49ers all last week. They got it back to a one-possession game, and if Jared Goff doesn't throw that pick six, we're talking about maybe the Lions winning the ball game. So 
Uh, I like the Lions, but the Lions, the Lions only have the three people to, that they need to be stopped. It's T.J. Hawkinson. He got 10 targets. I like the running backs, too. They got 19 targets out of the receiving backfield, both Jamal and Swift. But I think the Packers are going to bounce back. Rodgers is not going to let that shit happen again. And I think he's going to light it up. The Lions is the one he needs to bounce back against. So we end things off on a Monday night. Split. So we got seven star frames this episode, and I think I think we made all of us kind of made plenty of moves to uh, to move up or move down this week in rankings. Larry, you especially, was there some strategy in your picks tonight, Larry? Well, I moved a couple of games just so maybe we'll see if hopefully it flips my way. I think Titans taking them on a lock is a bold prediction. And Panthers against the Saints. A lot of people like the Saints. They're five and that five touchdowns thrown by Winston's obviously got everybody speaking hot stuff. But I think he's bound to throw those picks to bat, even out the balance board. So uh, I think the Panthers is going to give me some points. Hopefully, hopefully we bounce back. All right, and Barn, you got a winnable game this week against Houston. Is it going to feel good to get back on track? Yes. I don't want to do the bottom of the leaderboard in my division with the Ravens. <laughs> Terrible place to be. Cole, do you got any parting words for the people at home? Uh, yeah, I actually, um, I hope you guys have the a great rest of your day. Go Steelers. You know, you know. Last year, your whole thing was telling people to have the best day of their life. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like you're a little greedy now. It's like, it's like you don't want people to have the best day of their life. You just want them um, to have. Well, all the right. thing is, smoothie, smoothie, go for the I was smoothie. thinking like this whole year, like I can tell people have the best day of their life, and they can choose to listen to me or not. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like I realize people don't listen to me sometimes, so. So if I, I don't tell them, they'll have to. So I tell them to have, try to have the best day of your life or whatever. You know that's more reasonable. That's some wise words. You know that's good wise words and the and the picks with. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. If you haven't already, you can check out the links down below. Like me on Facebook at True Talks. Follow me on Twitter at True Talks or follow me on Instagram at Trey Mon Pixley. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Put the bell icon so you get notified every single time I drop a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, you guys have a great rest of your day.